technique, but I also want to show you another setup. Because, you know, some guys, you know, they keep their, you can't pummel in. You know, pummeling's a way to get there to an underhook. But some guys, they keep their elbows in, they're hard to pummel with. And uh, I noticed a lot of you guys like to work the head and everything. So we're out here grappling or whatever. And I do use a Thai sabaki also. Now, if he gave me this, I'd probably go to the elbow pot. Let's say we're, you know, we're like fighting in here temporarily. But he has his elbows in and I can't just dig for it. All right, he's, he's good. Maybe he's got it inside. So what I do in this situation, I'm going to step the opposite way with my right foot this time. I'm a right-hander, so I'm stepping with my right foot over here. But I'm going to reach up. I'm going to pop his head this way. So I'm going to grab it. I pop it, and that opens up right here. Okay? Now, I mean, you know, I, I like coaching ankle pick or something from there, drive up on the underhook. But let's get to the underhook first. So this is a slightly different way when you're unable to just pummel in. All right? So I'm unable to pummel in. So I'm going to pop his head that way. And then I'm going to dig for it. See how the arm opens up a little bit? And that's what I want. Ooh, that looks pretty good. You know? And right into a coachy ankle pick. Right? And again, you notice how he's, you know, wide open for a very short window of opportunity. He isn't going to stay there all day. So the, to get in, he's keeping his elbows in. I can't dig for it. He's giving me hell here. So whenever I can, keep this off of me. I'm going to reach up. I'm going to pop his head that way. And I'm digging in for this underhook. And here he's being a great day. So I'm going to go for it. You guys, this afternoon, tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning, Sean is going to show you some cool follow-ups. I'm seeing off that coachy. I'm going to stuff it under the opposite armpit. Sit back and roll. Into straight ankle lock, heel hooks, the whole series that he'll show you tomorrow. Okay? But anyway, let's try that first of all. We're out here. I'm going to pop the head, you know, pop it. Like that way and down. Open up this arm right here. And then... You know, do what you want. And some of you guys may like Uchimata. That's good. Uchimata to an ankle pick. All that stuff's good. But none of it's going to happen for you if you can't get your arms set. An underhook, if you, if you get an underhook, uh, particularly if your opponent is your height or taller, an underhook's a really good tool. A little harder for taller guys sometimes against a shorter guy to dig for underhooks, you know? But anyway, that being said, let's give it a try. Let's work on that method of getting to that underhook. Then we'll start hitting the Kochi guy. Maybe an Uchimata to a Kochi. Ankle pick. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. It could be Uchimata too. I'll show you her. Uh, how to get the opposite side too, you know, various things. I, I don't do the same technique, I don't do the same technique. I, I think unless you started when you're eight years old, that isn't necessary, really. Make yourself vulnerable switching, switching, switching sides. And we'll talk more about that. I'm doing real good on this. Uh, I've got some coffee this week. Uh, you know, what I try to do is a righty, I try to get to a position where with my left hand I'm pulling his head and digging with my right, that sets up my right side attacks. Okay, Harry, come on in a second. So, let's follow it up. Some of you were and very effectively following it up. So we're out here wrestling. I pulled his head to the side, which, and I, I do a little Thai sabaki right there to get up to here, all right? Now, from here, I'm gonna set up my Thai sabaki. I may do another little circle. And as I say, these may be stutter steps, but I'm just gonna take a wide, wide step right now. I pull on this elbow or a wrist, and then I shoot. I'm just blocking. It's not so much a coachy, but watch my knee too. This is kind of dirty. It doesn't hurt him. It's good for him. And I, I bend into his knee and I scoop it. And it could just be at the knee level. You don't have to go clear down to the ankle. 
In fact, sometimes it's preferable to go to the knee. I'll show you why. Okay, so I popped his head and got under. I did, if I bend too much and he tries to, I can get flipped down. I can get off balance and, and flip to my back, all right? So sometimes for me, it's better to remain partially upright. So I get to here, I'm a little more upright. I make my block, I kneel into his knee right there, and I'm just doing a knee grab in case. And I drive up on this underhook. It may not be uh, as pronounced as it is right now, but I'm driving up right there and blocking that knee, taking him more to the side. But that little kneeling motion of my knee to the inside of his sits him on their butt quite often. It collapses it, right? Not a dangerous move. This would be dangerous, you know, which we do in combatants, kneeling this way and blowing his leg and he has like a lower limb destruction. That is dangerous. I've never heard anybody on that one. <coughs> so, no. your, your, weights, your weights are leaning. Okay, I heard bull. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll try it, guys. Just try this, and then we'll look at other hip tosses from this underhook or clinches. Nice. I, instead of taking it backward, this hand's driving up, and this hand's here. So it's almost like a steering wheel, you know, with a whole lot of body momentum. <laughs> So, John, when you do that, it's, it's with your, your right leg, the Koichi action, the Koichi Gaki action, the Koichi Gari action. Block. It's a block movement. Can you just show that? Because I think that's an interesting point that All right. should well, be see, seen. Koichi would be more, you know, like a sweep. A sweeping movement, right. Sweep the direction his toes are pointing. I'm using it more as a block. So we're out here. I, cut, I get under. I make a little circle. I'm keying in on your feet here. Yeah, let's uh, I'll come around here. And... Uh, I'm driving up on this underhook right here. I'm driving up and I'm taking him that direction. So this is blocking. My foot is blocking and my knee is kind of kneeling on it. And I just knee tap it, knee block it right there and keep him going sideways. You feel how you're. I was holding on. <laughs> yeah. The nice part about that, when you grab your knee, it protects you. You're not, yeah. You're not pushing. Right. You're not well, I guess that's true. I don't think that's injurious, an injurious move. It's probably illegal, but... I think if, if you know, there was nothing but the foot block, it might be. Yeah, when you grab that knee, it's giving that support. Or even knee. just the, the underhook. Yeah. I mean, like, if I've got my gear and, you know, I've got that underhook, you know, it doesn't matter which way I do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Moving, high and low, right? I'm not trying to injure it. Yeah, it, it may... Yeah. Well, I don't know if it is or not if I blow his knee out, but I don't think I've, I've never blown a knee out this way. You know, it makes him sit. You know, the guy sits on his butt, and this kind of prevents him from stepping. Yeah. 